Good day, viewers. Welcome again to my channel, Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. Now we are solving past questions on general mathematics. This is November, December 2024. Theory, optional, question 10. Starting with the A part, I read the roots of the equation a squared plus bx plus c squared to zero are negative one on two and negative three on two. You have to find the values of a, b, and c. So we're starting with the a part. So we see that this is a quadratic equation. That is the general form of a quadratic equation. a squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And these are the roots of the quadratic equation. So recall that you can find the quadratic equation given its roots. You can find the quadratic equation given its roots by using the formula x squared minus sum of roots x plus product of roots is equal to zero. So with this, all that we need now is sum of roots and then product of roots. So now starting with sum of roots, So sum here means that we have to add the roots. So the first root is given as minus 1 and 2. So plus the second root, minus 3 and 2. So this can also be written as minus 1 and 2, minus 3 and 2. Consider that these are like fractions. So you can pick one of the denominators. No print on the numerator. So on the numerator is minus 1 minus 3. That is minus 4. And then minus 4 on 2 can be simplified as minus 2. So that is the sum of the roots. The sum of the roots is given as minus 2. Again, you should also be able to find the product of roots. So for product of roots, we have to multiply the roots. So starting with the first root, minus 1 and 2. Multiplying minus 3 and 2. So for multiplication, you multiply the numerators and then you also multiply the denominators. So starting with the numerators, negative 1 multiplied by negative 3. That is positive 3. And then 2 multiplied by 2. That is 4. So that is for product of roots. For product of roots, we are having 3 and 4. So at this point, we just substitute the values into the equation. So now we have x squared minus. For the sum of roots, we had negative 2. So minus, minus 2, that becomes plus 2x. Then plus the product of roots. For the product of roots, we had 3 and 4. This should be equal to 9. So we see that we are having a fractional term here. So we can eliminate the fraction by multiplying each term by the LCM. What is the least common multiple? So we said the least common multiple here is 4. So now the first term, x squared, multiplied by the LCM, which is 4.
in the second term multiplied by the LTM. So the second term here is 2x plus the third term multiplied by the LCM. So the third term here is 3 and 4. And then finally, the last term, which is 0, multiplied by the LCM. So we can simplify 4 multiplied by x squared. This will give us 4x squared. And then 4 times 2x, that should give us 8x. And then at this point, we could see that 4 will cancel out, leaving 3, and then 4 multiplied by 0, that is 0. But our goal here is to find the value of A, B, and then C. So we can compare. So by comparing this equation to the general equation, which is A x squared plus B x plus C is equal to zero. We we'll see that what is the coefficient of x squared here? That is a. But here we have 4. So you can see that a is equal to 4. By comparing, we we'll see that b is equal to 8. And then finally, the constant c is equal to 3. Uh, again, with a b, I read. The interior angles of a polygon are 2t plus 1, 3t minus 2, 4t, 5t minus 2, 2t minus 1, and 3t plus 2 degrees. We have to find i, the value of t, and then ii, the difference between the largest and the smallest angle. So let's start with a B. So let's count the number of interior angles of this particular polygon. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So this should give us an idea that this, this is um, a six-sided polygon, specifically the hexagon. So what is the sum of the interior angle of a hexagon or a six-sided polygon? Now recall this formula, that the sum of the interior angle of any polygon is giving us n minus 2 multiplied by 180, where n is the number of sides. So with this, we know that the number of sides here is 6. So 6 minus 2 multiply by 180. Then we know that 6 minus 2 is 4. So 4 times 180, that is 720 degrees. So that is the sum of the interior angle angles of this particular six-sided polygon. So with this, let's sum up the six interior angles and that should give us 720 degrees so the first interior angle we have 2t plus 1 plus the second interior angle 3t minus 2 plus the third interior angle we have 4t plus the fourth interior angle 5t minus 2 plus the feet we have 2t minus 1 plus the c 3t plus 2 and the whole of this sum as we go to 720 degrees so now we can simplify 2t plus 3t, that is 5t plus 4t, 
9t, 9t plus 5t, 14t, 14t plus 2t, 16t, then 16t plus 3t, we have 19t. Now 1 minus 2, that is minus 1. The minus 1 minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 4, plus 2. That is minus 2. And this should be equal to 720. Now let's solve for t by grouping like terms. So we have 19t is equal to 720. We transpose negative 2 to the right. That becomes plus 2. So we have 19t is equal to 722. So at this point, we can divide both sides by 19. So that is 7, 722 divided by 19. That is 38. So that is the I. Now, I, I. We have to find the difference between the largest and the smallest angle. So now let's find the value of each interior angle to be able to determine the least and then uh, or to determine the largest and then the smallest. So now starting with the first interior angle, 2t plus 1. We know the value of t as 32, 38. Sorry, so 2 multiplied by 38 plus 1. So the first interior angle here measures 77 degrees. 3t minus 2, so 3 multiplied by 38 minus 2. I have 1. 112 degrees. The third interior angle 4 multiplied by 38. This should give us 152 degrees. The fourth one 5 multiplied by 38 minus 2. 188 degrees. The fifth one 2t minus 1. So we have 2 multiplied by 38 minus 1, 75 degrees. And then the last interior angle, 3 multiplied by 38 plus 2, 116 degrees. So this, what is the largest angle? So 188 is the largest angle. And what is the smallest angle? So the smallest angle is 75 degrees. So we have to find the difference. So difference means we have to subtract. We have the largest minus the smallest. The largest is 188. The smallest is 75. So 188 minus 75. That is 113 degrees. So that is the answer for the I. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment under the comment section. And don't also forget to share the link for others to also benefit. Thanks for your time and attention. Bye.